to stream like this all day and let you guys take over. They're so cute. Hey guys, welcome to our Monday night stream. As you can see, I am joined by my uh, beautiful daughters. This is Kokori. She's a Shiba Inu. And this is Ari. She is a Pomsky. Oh no, I'm being licked. There's enough liquors in the game. I don't need another one. And I am Fawn. If you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. Oh, they decided to move. They're no longer the stars of attention. And today we are going to be starting the Resident Evil 2 Leon story. We already beat the Claire scenario 1, or scenario A, essentially. So we are going to be starting Leon. And as you can see, it is a lingerie stream. <laughs> I don't do these very often, but... When I do, I like to have fun with it. And of course, I happened to pick the day that it was cold and rainy out all day. So, not really the best time, but we went with it. But we're going to go ahead and start. We're just going to do standard. No one wants to do assisted. I did beat Claire's story on hardcore. Like, literally, like, barely. So, we'll have to wait to see if we could do Leon's story in Hardcore. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this scene since it is the same one that we see when you play as Claire. So I've already shown that in stream. They're not interested. And this is Leon scenario A, so it's not the second run, but the first run. Once you beat the Claire story, you can play as the second playthrough as Leon. But we're going to start with the first playthrough just to get that out of the way before we start with the second runs. Because I know they are a little bit different, and I don't want to rush into it. That's all he says. That's weird. I'd be trying to get free gas, personally. <laughs> no one's here. Might as well. I like how they Hello? look like he like Anybody super there? put on like a bunch of chapstick before this. He was like, I have to look good to kill zombies. Something's not right. No shit. <laughs> oh. You alright? No, he's fine. Don't move. I'll be back for you. No, I won't. So it's pretty much the same opening situation. It's so graphic. Would that be considered like the human gizzard? Oh my god. I haven't played in a couple of these. We're not doing too good. <laughs> I love the wall art for this. That's awesome. Actually, should we do our own version? I can't do it. <laughs> do we match? <laughs> Let's see. He's so grumpy. At least his gun doesn't take forever to reload like Claire's does. I feel like her gun, like, is just ridiculous. What the? Run away! Uh. 
I like that the introductions are like relatively the same as the original game. Like that's pretty much how you see it. Yes, it is a nice game choice. I know a lot of people have been amped about Kingdom Hearts and it's not exactly my preferred game choice, but I can appreciate other people enjoying it. But this is the release that I was more excited about. Come on. Not saying there's anything wrong with it. Hold on. And we already did the clear playthrough, so now he gets to be the guy. <laughs> I mean, he's yeah. wearing a Leon, police please. uniform, so... Clear. Yeah? We're Unless he We're just <laughs> imitates a cop no. like Ted Bundy or something. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. Her brother's not exactly a cop. He's more like a special forces department that happens to be in the police station. And we'll go ahead and skip that, just because it is the same opening credits that we saw in Claire's story. I'm pretty sure this is the same scenario too as well, so we're just gonna go ahead and skip that. Yeah. This is out of control. Okay, yeah, so in the original game, where you actually start the game, is different compared to if you play as Claire or if you play as Leon. You actually have to take a completely different route to the police station. But in this one, apparently, it is the same exact route. So... I guess we don't have to worry about there adapting. The station. And I like too, though, if you played the game as Claire or Leon in the original and you went through like picking up items, on your second playthrough, those items you picked up were no longer accessible. No, you're fine. I know a lot of people were stoked about Kingdom Hearts. This is my thing that I was like, they told me about this like oh. years and years ago that is they were going to redo here? it and they finally came out with it. So I was excited, but I know it's technically a remake and the Kingdom Hearts is an actual like new game. So I get a lot of people being super stoked for that instead. Hey Camilo, thanks for joining. Hope you're having a good night. So that's pretty much the same video that he showed before. I am going to pick up some of my deluxe stuff right now. I did do the hardcore mode, um, or not the hardcore mode. I just did the regular mode as a speed run and got S rank, so I got the unlimited ammo and then I do have the unlimited knife, or unbreakable knife. And you get that for uh, collecting all the little, like, Mr. Raccoons, which is pretty adorable. So we're just going to use those to kind of cheat our way through the game, but it's not cheating because they earn them sort of scenario. <laughs> you show your love. El Camino. So I'm pretty sure this is still the same as uh, Claire's first run and as well as like the demo that everyone did. So I'm kind of just going to rush through that if that's okay. Like there's not really like a whole lot different from my understanding for this part. So we're just going to grab a couple things. And I am using his alternate costume, which you unlock by completing either of their stories. And we're doing the alternate costume because 
From my understanding, that's where you get Ada to wear her sexy red dress. And that's what everyone wants to see instead of, I think she wears like a trench coat in this one. So we want her sexified version, so we're using his alternate costume. Things do not end well for him. No good. Camilo, did you beat Leon's story yet? Or are you still working on it? He's dead. He'll be fine. I would say walk it off, but he obviously can't. Uh, nothing else. My shooting skills are not doing well today. And because things don't die... You knew it! You sit on a throne of lies! Ugh. This game, it takes so much longer for stuff to die than in the original one. Ooh, he exploded her head. Go down. Oh, you finally beat it. <laughs> yeah. When you get killed in this, there is kind of more of like cinematic thing. It's almost like in Mortal Kombat, like the fatalities. Like they really draw out your death and make it like super in depth. Like if you get killed by a zombie, it doesn't just go, oh, you died. It's like it shows the zombie like literally rip out your neck and like nibble on it, take a few chews, and then your body just goes, ugh, and then you die. So it does take a quite a while. I'm sure you did what you could. Yeah. He's not looking too hot. Does anyone know what started this? I'm gonna go ahead and skip this because that they did show that in the demo. Yay! Oh, I guess we can go ahead and do our first medallion. And since I did play Claire's playthrough quite a bit, I imagine I still know the password. Unless it changed. Okay, yeah. Haha. <laughs> Nailed it. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. <laughs> this is not how I imagined my first day. I mean, I would say it could be worse, but I don't think it could. We'll go ahead and drop this stuff off at the item box. There is an achievement you get for not really running around a lot and pretty much going like from point A to point B without like going off the thing. I think it's 14,000 steps or whatever. And I did it on Claire's and it was ridiculously hard because I love going to the item box and going and looking at stuff and you just can't do that in 14,000 steps. And there's also an, a trophy for not opening your item box at all, which is especially hard if you have like the deluxe models and of like the Samurai Edge or like my Unbreakable Knife and stuff. Like you can't access it all because you have to open the item box to get that. 
so I wasn't able to get it. I had to literally just survive off of what I found. So he gets the clover key, I take it, as opposed to Claire got the heart key, I think. Oh my god. My shooting game is not good today. Stay down. Oh my god. I'm gonna move my camera real quick. I hope that's okay, because I cannot see for the life of me how many bullets I have left. So we're just gonna change that real quick. Okay, sorry about that guys. Yeah, that's much better because I could not see my ammo. Uh, my weekend was pretty good. I didn't really do a whole lot. There's a gentleman that lives in the complex that I do and he asked me to start cooking for him for his meals because he's, he's older and I started making food for him. And I made him, I think, three meals on Saturday so that he has a good amount of stuff to eat for a few days and doesn't have to worry about getting fast food or something. Ooh. Yes, I need to know, because even though it's infinite ammo, like, you don't know when you need to reload it or not. What the? And reloading when you have to takes a lot longer than just doing it on your own. And also if I use like the shotgun or whatever later, like it's not gonna be infinite, obviously. And we all know that guy is just playing. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to fall, I guess. Booty, booty. Some gunpowder. Let's deal with this guy, because, you know, he's just playing too. Oh, it's so graphic. Uh, we're gonna cheat because that's how we roll. Uh, left nine, right 15, and left seven. When I initially played this, I did go through getting all the information from the files and stuff, but Nobody has time for that right now. Like, especially if you're trying to do like a speed run or something. Like, you don't have time, you just wanna be able to do that. And... This one is NED. Uh, yeah, actually, I did the chicken alfredo, I did lasagna, and I did like a chicken teriyaki with broccoli. So he got a nice little variety. Uh, I can't get anything in there just yet, so we'll just go ahead and skip that for now. Haha, <laughs> the unbreakable set of boards. No big deal. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna want any more meals from me, but 
I already started thinking of like what I could make for him in the future and I was thinking maybe like some steak and asparagus uh, some salmon and potatoes and then making like tortellini or something that way like keep it rotating so it's not like the same stuff over and over again I mean, I'm sure if there's something that he likes, I can remake it, but I don't know. I want to give him a good variety. You're full of lies. Go. Yeah. So everything seems to be very much like the... Oh, what? I'm not over there. I think she's good. But yeah, everything seems to be kind of like the Claire storyline for right now. Where did that guy go? How did you even get over there? We're gonna go this way. I don't like being in the corners. Oh my god. I hate that they moved like drunk people. <laughs> he was like, get off me. Um, should we get stuff here? Should we come back? Yeah, we can get the stuff here, I guess. Oh my gosh, these things drive me insane. There's no like secret for it, so you literally just have to guess. Uh, this one is Captain America. That's how I remember it. Really? When I was doing a couple of the playthroughs with Claire, like, I've seen him and he just goes, ha ha, and just j jumps for some reason. I have no idea why. It's like, I mean, I guess it's scary if you were down there, but I clearly wasn't. That little shadow always freaks me out. I feel like it's a zombie. Can you tell I've overplayed this game already? <laughs> Sneaky little statue thingy. You're full of lies. I hope it's still like the Claire storyline that he's not actually in here when I come in here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he's just a fake out for right now. Thank goodness. And we have to do a detonator, grab our bag. I hate how when they talk on the radio, they, you literally can't do anything. Like, I can't draw my gun, I can't really do anything. He's just like, oh no, this needs my undivided attention, not the zombie that's trying to kill me. God. <sighs> wow. I am not doing well with the shooting today. No, it's just the handgun that has infinite ammo. Um, apparently you can get like a submachine gun or something if you can do the hardcore and do it uh, as a speed run. If you get an S rank or better on hardcore, then you actually get a submachine gun that has infinite ammo and it's just available in your item box when you get it. So there's that, but I am not that good, at least not yet. Cause you have to clear, I think in like an hour and a half or something ridiculous. And I think the fastest I was able to clear was like maybe two hours and 45 minutes. And that's being generous, so. Oof. I like how they can actually like pick up the other zombies and stuff now. That like if there's like two of them on top of each other, 
and one's like dead dead, then you'll see them like lift up and the zombie will go with them. I think that's cool because they didn't have that capabilities. Back in the day. Just because I've dealt with the tyrant enough to know that I want this pushed over faster. How much bag space do I have? Okay. Do do do. Oh, I guess we can go in here already. The poor cop guy, he's probably like, where are they? Or where is he, I guess, would be the proper terms. Uh, this one is fish. I think. Nailed it. Haha. -ha. I feel like I should do that like luminosity thing though because I feel like my memory doesn't serve me as well as it could. Getting up there in age, so could probably use a refresher. Nope, I almost tried to give the lion statue the medal I just got. There you are. Come here. Oh, my poor puppies. Yes, I knew she'd make it. Know her? Yeah, name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can Does it really matter point. though? Like it's a survivor. Support. Help her. You're Sorry. a cop. <laughs> I'm on it. He's not Thanks, on it. Lieutenant. Let's visit our item box. Oh, I guess we could open this. Since we're here. I'm constantly going to the item box. It's ridiculously... I didn't turn that in yet. Dang it. Uh, that's probably good. Let's see, can we crack this? Probably the fastest I've ever been able to crack those. <laughs> that was crazy. It normally takes me an insane long time to do that. Let's deliver our said medallion. I kind of feel bad that I like make him run everywhere and he's just panting the whole time. Grab this. Let's bring up our cheat sheet again and see what our password is. Uh, left six, right two, left eleven. You guys know you do it too, don't lie. I've already discarded stuff before, but thank you for the refresher, I guess. I'm not picking up any of the notes because I already went through like collecting all of them, so there's no point in grabbing them again.
When I first saw that, it reminded me of, like, in the first one where you need, like, the red jewel and the blue jewel. And I was like, oh no, it's only half the puzzle. <laughs> I am a cheater. I'm definitely cheating. But I mean, I went through all of the work by myself in the first one. When I first played through, I got it from all my notes and everything. I went, no, let's look in my notes, see if we have it. So I cheated, but not the first time. <laughs> Claire. How did she even see Hold him on. from up I'll there? Right there? Okay. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? The helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm one piece. He cut her off. <laughs> you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately. Is that a rocket in your pocket, or are you just happy to How see me? Doing? She's so thirsty. <laughs> Any luck with your brother? No, thank you. There, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. I feel like literally every time she sees him, she's like, hey, how's it going? You know oh, there's zombies around? Yeah. I didn't notice. Dinner time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Yeah, you need to go now. She's like, oh no, I worried about you, even though you're in a protected fence right now. Too bad he ends up like an Ada. Uh, Marvin, Spoiler alert. Here. I'm surrounded by zombies. See, I can't open this right now because he's trying to be on his radio. Stop. Damn it. What's Marvin gonna do anyway? He's like gimpy. He can't come in there and help you. Let's grab this. I don't think we can stop that guy, so we're going to use that board in here at least. Because I know there's a guy trying to get in. Yeah. I see you. I know it's up. I am a fancy herb mixer. Oh, I can make the far away shots no problem, but then I get up close and he suddenly doesn't know how to aim. Pow, pow. Okay, I like, I can't make any of the shots. <laughs> He's just having a bad day. Oof. I don't think you get a rocket launcher in this one, actually. Because I was kind of looking at like all the like unlockables and stuff, and it looks like it's just the unlimited machine gun. How many pockets do I have? I guess... But yeah, I think if you just do the speedrun on hardcore, that's when you get... the unlimited submachine gun. But I don't think you get a rocket launcher, which sucks because I feel like with Claire, you get the grenade launcher, but with Leon, you get a shotgun, oh, which isn't very helpful. At least when you have like the grenade launcher, you have more like crowd control, and when you're fighting like monsters and stuff, then it actually does like a kickback so that they have to literally like watch out. Whereas when you use like a shotgun or something, then it literally doesn't do anything. They just go, oh, okay, you hit me. I'm gonna keep walking. Let's see. 
that is for Matilda. Didn't we pick up something earlier too that was for Matilda? Oh yeah, here we go. Haha, -ha, getting fancier by the minute. Uh, we don't need this right now. You said that last time too. I think it's because it, right now it is mostly just like the same that Claire's story is. So I'm just trying to get through it so that I could start seeing the parts that are different. Because right now I feel like it's literally just the same as like my other playthrough. So I'm trying to give like a little bit more variety since it's pretty similar. Can you just die already? What the? Really? Oh my god. This is one of those times that I'm very thankful for having the unlimited ammo because like that would have taken all of my ammo right there. Ooh. Feeling frisky, are we? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Everything takes forever to die compared to the original game. Are you good? Her head went like under the floor for a minute there. Shit. Lady, you need a backup. I'm not that into you. Just die. Oh god. <laughs> that scared me. He's gonna stay dead, right? <laughs> okay. That was my fault. <laughs> I think anytime you like touch him in general that he just like falls down. Go. Oh. Why? <laughs> See, if I didn't have unlimited ammo, this would have taken literally like a couple hundred. Jesus. Like that's excessive. Where the f did you come from? Shit. What he said. No, I said stay down. What the fuck? Go away. Did that chick get up? Or is she still hanging in there? She is. You suck. Oh my god. What the? Someone's dramatic with their death. I'm on to you. I probably shouldn't just run into places because knowing my luck, it'll be like slightly changed from Claire's and there'll be like a zombie waiting in here or something. And I'll literally just run into his arms. Dun 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 dun. Uh, I don't remember the numbers. Two oh eight, one oh nine, one oh six, and one oh two. You guys got that? Nailed it. Do I even have enough room for everything? <laughs> mm. 
Not that I need that roll of film, but we'll take it. Yeah, I generally don't use the flashbangs or anything until like I get to the point of like boss fights or something just because like if they grab you, like some of those things can kill you like in a second. So the only way that you can survive is if you have something. So I generally just put them in the item box and just hold on to them until it gets like more difficult. Develop this roll of film just to get it out of the way. Uh, let's deposit some of this stuff now. Mm, we'll keep that just in case. Oh my god, is he right now? <laughs> Maybe I should have the shotgun then. <laughs> or are you saying keep it until Mr. X comes by? I'm going to take out the shotgun now, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> mm, I don't know. <laughs> I know that he deals with him a hell of a lot more. Oh, I thought you were saying Mr. X came out right now. That's why I was like, maybe I need the shotgun. But yeah, I know uh, Leon runs into him like a million times more than Claire does. And she runs into him three times. Oh, okay. We'll stick with the handgun then. Is there still like a liquor in here? Oh yeah, he's hanging out right here. We're just gonna hit tiptoe. God doesn't have anything to do with that, just so you know. Grab everything I can. Uh, yeah, I've combined items a couple times in my day. I think I got it. And we don't have the stuff for that right now. Through the tulips. It's almost scarier now that they don't just automatically attack you like they did in the original. Like the fact that you have to tiptoe past to them and they can be like right here. It's really scary. Because you're like, please don't find me. <laughs> I'm not like a pro. <laughs> like I said, when I did the Claire hardcore, like I literally barely survived it. I'm sorry. I don't mean to wake you up. Oh wait, is there anything in here? Oh. And we'll use that there. And I noticed when I was playing as Claire that if you don't go out this door and go out like the other door or something, the bookcase knocks over so that you can't get back in this way, like for the rest of the game. So you have to use that. This is Maiden Yes. Run away. Oh god. No! <laughs> Get away. <laughs> I don't want to die. Uh, yeah, I got the second medal already. So this is the last one that we needed. We should be good. <sighs> that hurt my heart. <laughs> Those lookers do not mess around, I'm telling you. There we go. 
go. Oh, and it might be ruining my laundry stream, but I am wearing socks. <laughs> Just because it is kind of cold in here. I needed some extra comfort. That's our way out. Lieutenant Brenna! Marvin! It's time to go. He's not doing so good, buddy. He already looks like he's, like, getting aggressive. Right now. No, no, I... Uh... Save yourself. Come on, I've got you. Go! You have to wonder though, like he Stay has a out. gun. I don't know if they're trying to say he's out of ammo, because like right there it's like he's threatening him. Like what is he just I tried, Leon. instead of turning. But I could stop him. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. No pressure. Just go. Understand. He's so bloody. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing lingerie. I've showed it a couple times already. <laughs> I even said at the beginning of the stream, when they're in the gas station, there's like all this like art on the wall. I even tried to like mimic one of the art things on there. Uh, if this is the same, then there should be a boss fight right now. I don't know if it's going to be with the tyrant or if it's still with William Birkin but I want to be prepared just in case. I mean, I'm probably going to just try to use my handgun, to be honest, just because he's not that difficult. And in my first playthrough, I forgot to even go to the weapons locker, and I did it with my handgun. So it can be done. Let's just go and get our little grenade here, though, first. Unless it's something else. Okay, it's still a grenade. I did the front and back earlier. I don't know where you were, but it was both. Oh yeah, it's, it's William Birkin. Oh, is it actually letting me go through here? Okay, no. But yeah, I did the front and back earlier. There's... I can't get the camera angle properly. And then... That's... <laughs> Not really good when the camera is practically on the ground. But yes. I am going to try to do a few more lingerie streams. I know I've only done like one or two before in the past. Oh, maybe I should try to kill them. I noticed that like when he's in this form, like it's good to hit him in the head. And then when the eyeball comes out, it's better to hit him. It's so puffy. Ah! He's angry. Ah! Did he just fall on his own? Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to just do it with the handgun, just because I do want to kind of save some ammo for later. Oops. Run away! Ah! Don't chase me. Ah! 
<laughs> I didn't know I was in a corner. <laughs> Oh, we got hit. I was trying to go without getting hit, but that's okay. Hello? Are you coming? I can kind of see. Yeah. Well, get over here. There you go. Reload, reload. What? <laughs> I was like, where did he go? What? That was a little close. Come on, buddy. <laughs> no! Oh wait, I have my trusty knife. Wait, if I kill him, will I not get my knife back? But I love my knife. That's the unbreakable one. <laughs> Give me my knife back, you sick. No, my knife! <laughs> Come back! Yeah, check out the repay later and then I'm gonna post it on YouTube. So in case people aren't able to see it. Ghost. <gasps> no, my knife is gone forever. No, <laughs> I should have taken the hit. Unless maybe it'll be back in my item box or something. I'm hoping. I was kind of wondering how that would work too. Like they say it's unbreakable, but he's not coming back to hand it to me, I don't think. Let's just make sure we gather all of our supplies. We still need to get more. My poor knife. Did I not get everything? Whatever. Let's just go. Oh, there's another green herb right here. I think we'll use that actually. Just so he's not hobbling everywhere. My poor knife. <laughs> Never forget. See, it's kind of nice not having to deal with Sherry right now and listening to her. It won't move. I didn't try using this lever that's right here. But it won't move. And we didn't use our shotgun. We saved our ammo. Got some more slots. Is my knife in here? No. Still no. No, it is gone forever. So if you guys have the infinite knife, do not use it on boss fights. It will be gone forever. My poor knife. No good. Well, now we know, I guess. I should have just let him crush my face and that would have been better. I'm 
I'm not certain why there's a cinematic for this, to be honest. Like, it's literally him just coming out of a manhole. Giggity. And that's it. <laughs> Yeah, it did. It had the infinity figure eight symbol on it, just like the gun does. So it was like, oh, the knife has infinite ammo because it's unbreakable. Damn. But I don't have it anymore, apparently. Doggies. She could never turn into a vicious zombie dog. She's so lazy. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the Resident Evil 2 movie. Because they do kind of a scene like that. <gasps> Ada. Oh. Lower it. Meow. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, that's much better than when she wears like the trench coat or whatever and these big ol' huge sunglasses. That's a much better outfit. Sorry, that information's classified. Where you going? Also classified. Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Don't tell me how to live my life. I mean, I'm not saying that the trench hey, coat would be any I'm better for secret you. operative missions, but... I mean, I don't think a skinny dress would be best for dealing with all this. She knew she was going, like, underground and stuff, right? Arm up. He doesn't look dead. I knew it! You're a liar! Just like all your zombie friends. Ha. Did you just say you? What the I'm not going in there. I'm really good at hitting these bars, and not him. Okay, now I'll go in there. My god. Stop. We good? Okay. Hey, how's it going, Immortal Mad Max? Welcome to the stream. Ugh. That was easy. I'm just waiting for like something to pop out. Good enough. Oh, I remember this guy. He's like a good journalist or something. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You've been here long? Long enough. Uh, no, you're not the only one here, Mortal no, Mad Max. No, there's a few of us. At least I hope That's not. Yes. Last I heard, there was a few others here. Irons. You mean cheap irons? Is he still around? Like, Camilo, yes. you still around? Please, you hanging in there? What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. <sighs> get my kimono on here. It's getting a little chilly. If I could find the sleeve anywhere. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. So we can play nice, help each other out. What? What's coming? Come on. Oh god, is Don't it the Terran again? You need this. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's the Terran. 
<laughs> Thanks, Camilo. I could always use more groupies. Get a little fan club going. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't come straight through Who's the wall. That? It's just me. So you can put that thing away. She I means his penis. Happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. And for those of you wondering, this is a special lingerie stream. They don't happen very often, so I'm glad you guys could make it for this one. Uh, the Patreon's actually hey, doing pretty decent. I'm uh, very thankful that I've had people contribute, and thankfully I haven't had any months without any patrons. I know a lot of um, other creators that I follow and everything that they've had some times where they just haven't gotten any pledges whatsoever for some months, and I'm very thankful that that hasn't happened to me. Uh, if anyone's unfamiliar with Patreon, it is a site to help with uh, creators make content. And those that may not know, I do game streaming as well as modeling. Ugh, his eyes are bugged out. It's a tool. Let's see. Oh, it's just like the power panel in the chief's office. Um, but yeah, I do modeling as well as streaming, and if people go on to my Patreon... Can I pull this? No, I figured not. Then you can actually uh, support me and show that you enjoy my work. The tiers range from just saying, hey, I like your work, here's a dollar, which is always nice, because even though it's not like a whole bunch of money or whatever, it still shows that people actually appreciate what I do and it kind of is like a nudge for me to like keep me going. And then it goes all the way up to the highest tier. Um, people can actually get customized uh, photo shoots. I've had a lot of people that request uh, certain kind of photo shoots and wanting to know like, hey, how do I give you uh, requests on what kind of photo shoots that I think you would do great on, and that's one of the ways that tears um, I will individually message people and see what kind of photo shoots they would prefer. I know I get a lot of requests for, like, apparently a lot of my fan base is for my stomach. My belly button tattoo is pretty unique, and a lot of people seem to like it, so I get a lot of requests to do more. Um, like crop top shoots and very like stomach focused photo shoots and that's a way that some people can request to get the photo shoots that they like is to be on my top tier for Patreon. And if not, there's also just uh, like the lower tiers where you get to see Patreon exclusive posts that I don't post on any of my social media or anything. And it just helps me out and it's just a little bit of like extra content for people who are super interested. But I definitely appreciate it because it makes me keep going and be dedicated and lets me continue to do stuff like this. Jesus. These are not going to be well. I feel really bad but I'm going to shoot these. I swear I love dogs. I don't mean to hurt you guys. I'm sorry. But you are most certainly going to eat my face if you get out. <laughs> when ASPCA goes wrong. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. I did message you earlier uh, regarding the tears and everything. I'm not sure if you got my message since I've been on stream, but I did start communicating with you regarding your photo shoot requests. Ooh, I'll take it. <laughs> I think these are the same as in Claire Stray. Okay, yeah, so the same items in each little bin. Don't have to waste our time opening each one. 
Unless I forget which one it is, of course. Okay, cool. So yeah, just let me know uh, what kind of photo shoot ideas you have, and also all my Patreon supporters uh, have priority for the questions that will be in my ooh, uh, my next Q&A video that I will upload on YouTube. So if you have any questions that you would like answered in that video, go ahead and leave them in that message as well. And I will make sure to add them to the list <laughs> that's ever growing. Son of a bitch. Ugh, back up. Do I have to kill him? Because I feel like I'm not even going to be back in this room. Yeah, whatever. Okay. And we go over here. I don't know what I'm doing. And for those of you just joining us, this is Kokori. <laughs> She's a Shiva Inu, and there's another one right here. This is Ari. Here's her paw. <laughs> She's a Pomsky. Okay, just checking. Ooh, an herb. Ooh, piece of candy. Save some room here. Okay, cool. I did send you the message, so just reply to that message. Uh, any suggestions you have, and we'll go over that. Got our first part. Yeah, I really love this game too. I like this one and Resident Evil Code Veronica X were some of my favorite. I heard that if this game does well, they're going to actually start doing the remake process for Resident Evil 3, which is Nemesis. So hopefully people will like it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> just fiddling <laughs> generally works, I guess. Ooh. I swear I like dogs. You probably can't tell from this game playthrough, but I do. <laughs> oh, there is the door. No, get back here. Where did you go? Don't hide from me. Ooh, I flipped him. Zombie dog, zombie dog. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I mean, it really sucked because in Claire's version, you have to like tiptoe past liquors. And I kind of prefer that because I feel like an animal abuser. Oh, sh <laughs> Just trying to live my life. Is there more? Are we good? <sighs> now that that's over with. Ah, oh, shit. Let's use this real quick. Yay. Ah, oh, crap. Or they're gonna, yep, they're gonna break through this door too. What? God, 
God, you're ugly. What the? Ah! I like how they individually have to break in. This isn't ending well for me. Ah! No! 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 Ah! <laughs> no! Stay down! Don't bite me! I don't want to waste an herb on you! <sighs> now that that's taken care of... Oh, thanks! I got it from my mama! Oh, shit! <laughs> I was like, it's too quiet. Oh god. Ah! No, you aren't supposed to reach me! Oh fuck. I just need to wing them. You don't even really have to aim. Like, as long as you hit them, eventually they'll go down. Ah! I don't want to die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. Ah! Get off of me. There goes another knife. <laughs> oh god. I came out the door. I meant to be on the other side. Whoops. Ah! No. 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 Oh my god. Shit. Where is he? I don't know what that wall did to you, but... Hello? Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> no, my flash grenade! You should have used the knife! Oh. I upset him. Oh, we're injured. Dang it. <sighs> oh, that's for Matilda. I probably should have checked to see if there's any more dogs before I just rushed out. Onward! Well... I had to open the door more to be able to hit them. I suck tonight, so a crack wasn't gonna... do it. Oh, we're done with this. No, I said delete. Ooh, dark. <laughs> yeah, that's where I used it when I was playing as Claire. Good, good. I have a lot of stuff in my pockets right now. Um, I don't think I need this just now. What is that I got in my trunk? The junk in my trunk? <laughs> There you are. Dun 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 dun. Um, I don't care about developing that personally. Mm, that should be good. Actually, I don't want to use that mixture. There we go. Oh, and the police trunk, what did I get? 
I think it was the part for Matilda. It's like a thing that extends it. So now it takes two spots instead of one. So that it's more precise, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it would help if I equipped it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's way more precise now. So that's probably... No, not my gun. Infinite ammo. Okay. Okay, cool. I will message you back when I get done with my stream then. Ooh, that is a lot of zombies. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back into this corner. Where are they running? You're not supposed to run! No! Stop! I'm just gonna go in here real quick. Maybe they'll back up. Uh, I used to play Devil May Cry, like especially like the first one that came out on the original PlayStation. Haha! No, you guys aren't running towards me. Back up. I don't like that it's so dark that you could barely see anything. God, why don't you guys die? Ah! No! <laughs> Stop! Get down! Get down with the sickness. But yeah, I used to play Devil May Cry when it first came out. I haven't played the newest one though. I played like the first couple ones when it came out on like the PlayStation and the PS2, but I haven't really played them since then. Just, just get in here. We all know you're, that's what you're doing. I'm so tired of zombies. <laughs> Although I have to admit, I like games like this better than like Resident Evil 4 where it's like the Lost Lagos. Like I like zombies better. They don't have the rocket launcher in this one. In this one, um, obviously I'm using the unlimited pistol which you get from doing a speed run on standard. Oh, there's another one right there. And then you get an unlimited submachine gun, which I haven't gotten yet. And that's for doing the speed run on um, hardcore. What? I said use this. There we go. But they don't have a rocket launcher in this one. Oh no, <laughs> he's that, that poor guy. We tried helping him. It didn't work out. But yeah, you used to be able to get the rocket launcher in the first one. Um, I think that was the one where you, if you saw Brad Vickers, you got to have the rocket launcher or that was an alternate costume or something. I know, this is before Leon had extra issues with his life. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, we have this key and another thingy. So let's go use this key, which is near the stars area. I really hope nothing like randomly jumps out and gets me. <laughs> no one would be happy. <laughs> oh god! What did I just say? <laughs> no! 
in the Claire story, he's not down there until you start getting chased by the tyrant. That's not okay. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely ends up being, like, very John Wick-esque. I have nothing but a pistol right now. What if I go so he can't hear me over here? <laughs> Will he eventually calm down and leave me alone? Yeah, look at him. He's all, like, baby-faced. Poor guy. Life hardened him into an older man. Yeah, he is still definitely angry. I wonder if I could try to like run to the other door and then just go a different way. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, we did it. <laughs> he was not happy. <sighs> no! <laughs> You were supposed to be when the- Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to one-shot you, dude. Uh, I don't know. I haven't even heard anything about Resident Evil 8 coming out. All I know is that they're trying to redo more of, like, the original games. Like, I know if this does well, they're gonna- focus on Resident Evil 3 Nemesis next, which I'm all for. Oh god, is that liquor still in here? He is. But he's not angry. Oh, but he's right there, though. That's unfortunate. <sighs> How am I supposed to go to the third, or the second floor? What does Black Lives Matter have to do with anything? Oh, because I killed Marvin with one shot. I mean, at least I made it quick. I've seen some horrible videos of people getting shot repeatedly and it's not cool. Poor Marvin. R.A.P. Marvin. I didn't know you were gonna be a zombie right now already. Blue life, because he was a cop. Yeah, Resident Evil 3 was amazing. Although it came out... Where is that liquor at? Um, I'm just gonna go this way. Okay, we should be good this way. But yeah, Resident Evil 3 was awesome, but it came out around the same time as... Uh, there was another PS1 game, and it was called Resident Evil Survivor. And if you ever like have a minute like to google it or like do a youtube of the playthrough of that game it is ridiculously bad like it's like almost doom level graphics maybe even worse and it's literally just like a shooter and it's garbage and you could literally only ah you are right there aren't you just gonna walk by don't mind me but yeah, it was just a shooter game, and you literally had to beat the game without saving, without dying, anything. And it was just obnoxious. There is nothing good about that game. Uh, I don't really pay attention to YouTube drama. I feel like there's enough drama in the world that I don't need to do anything with it. Yeah, Doom has better graphics than Resident Evil Survivor, which is really sad. And all the other Resident Evil games, even before it, were way better graphics-wise. So it makes you wonder what happened with that, if it was just kind of like a half-thought. Mm, no. Okay. One day we'll get this. 
Dang it. <laughs> this one, no. Yes. Nailed it. I thought there was supposed to remake Doom 2, but I haven't seen anything for it, unfortunately. I guess we could go back to our weapons locker then. And get our other hit pouch, since we're here. And deal with that liquor again, sadly. I went the wrong way. Okay, don't run. <laughs> I don't know where it is, but we'll just go in here. And I'll try to not run while we're in here. I don't want to make him angry. Okay, we have 203. 103, and that's it. to a lot of like the newer music so I don't really know who's current although I do like Ariana Grande just because she plays like Final Fantasy games and stuff and one of the first songs that I heard from her or that I liked at least was uh, she did a collaboration with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and they did a like Final Fantasy like original soundtrack like remix of one of her songs and I really liked it so I started listening to some of her music and I liked it but generally I like I don't know more 90s music <laughs> where am I even going what am I doing oh I still have that tool yeah the liquor knows it's laundry night that's why he's trying to jump on me Uh, I think that's on the second. Uh, I've heard of her, but to be honest, I couldn't tell you a single song of hers. I generally don't listen to the radio a whole lot. I mostly just have like, <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh God. I forgot he was in there. Again, he knows it's lingerie night. He's up. Ah. Oh God, I didn't know you were gonna come out here. That was unpleasant. Well, apparently we're not gonna go that way. <laughs> He's so angry. Okay, let's go this way then. God, these things just want to jump on me and lick me. God, I'm not a piece of meat. Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot you were in here too. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Uh, okay, let's just take a break. Go get some health. We'll reconvene. <laughs> Oh my god, there's another liquor down here. I almost started running again. I should. I actually cosplayed as Alice from Resident Evil Extinction for a couple years. And I should have kept the cosplay because I feel like that would have helped give me godlike powers while playing this. Okay, let's limp to our item box out here. Because I think where we have to go is in the other wing anyway. <laughs> Open the door a crack to kill the liquor. I probably should have. And stop running around like a crazy person. Okay, let's get some health going. 
because we're an idiot. I was actually thinking about doing um, some like cosplay streams. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, there was that um, like Neko like lingerie thing for a couple years ago where it has like the little cat face that's like cut out of here and then it has like the little paw prints on the butt and everything. Like I have that, but I just haven't used it for like any shoots or anything. So I was thinking of maybe doing a stream with that at some point in time, just because it's cute and I feel like it's going to waste. I'm not even going the right way. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. That's the only place I remember there being a tool needed. Oh, okay, we're right outside the chief's office. Can I get into the chief's office? Oh no, we need the heart key. And I can't do anything down there because I don't have the clover key right now, so I guess we're going up. I know I should probably use the boards more often, but I feel like it just takes up space and I don't really feel like carrying them around. Are they just zombies in here still or are they liquors again? I don't know if I could deal with any more liquors right now. Anyone hear anything? Okay, it's a zombie. I see you. You're not slick. You. Hold still. You shouldn't have had all the alcohol before you got zombified. Ah! <laughs> what is. What are you doing? Where's the other one? I hear another one. There you are. I'm not good at hitting their kneecaps. What? Ah! <laughs> I know the other one was getting close. Or not, I was imagining things. Whatever, they're easier to kill this way regardless. Infinite ammo. Watch, he's still not dead. What the? Why does he sound like a kitty? What are you doing? What are you doing with your undead life? Ooh, graphic. Okay, so we don't have that. So I don't think there's anything else we can get in here. So, do, 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 do. I feel like I need more health and stuff in my inventory. Oh well. Let's wing it. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> Poor Leon. That didn't happen in Claire's story. Shouldn't have had that donut. You're stuck. And I'm pretty sure we're still gonna have to deal with the tyrant. So that's fun. Is that lady not out here? Ooh. Hmm, piece of candy. Consolidate your herbs. Please tell me it's just a zombie and not more liquors. I don't think I can handle more liquors right now. Oh, okay. That's fine. Ooh. Juicy. Son of a bitch. Was she in here for prostitution? Or was it drugs? Oh! No! That's not okay! I 
Is it because they said you were a prostitute? <laughs> Is that why you got angry? <laughs> Ah. Ooh, we can go through this door now. Anything? I'll take it. <gasps> An item box! Ah, we got our key. <laughs> what? Because I called her a prostitute. She attacked me. Uh, do we have any more red herbs? Or no? Oh, I should have used a blue herb with that. Darn. Oh well. Um, let's bring out this. You know, I do have a feeling that the tyrant's gonna come out and cause problems. So. I'm just gonna grab my good old shotgun. Is that my shotgun? Why does it only take up one spot? That's concerning. Oh, that didn't do anything. Get ready to It is the tyrant! No! <laughs> We're not gonna do so well. Um, that's probably good. I kind of wanted to see if I can, like, take him down. That way he's not chasing me, like, literally the whole time. Especially since I've had so many issues with the liquors. And it sucks, because I remember in the original that if you, like, knocked him down, you were able to, like, pick up stuff from him. But that's not the case anymore, because I did it with Claire, and she knocked him down, and he provided nothing. Oh, I still need to do the water thing. <sighs> You'll waste ammo. I know, but I don't like running. I don't want to. <sighs> I've spent plenty of time running. Hi. We're just gonna go this way. Hope you're okay with that. <laughs> uh, shit, I have to go to the first floor. Where there's liquors! I should have killed them when I had the chance. Not my best move. I can still hear him. Now I feel like I should try to kill him. Because the second I get in that with the liquors, they're gonna destroy me. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Because you can't exactly run around while the liquors are there. Yay, we knocked off his hat! And reload. See, I feel like if this was Claire, she would have knocked him on his ass already because she gets the fun grenade launcher. Ah! Don't hit me. <laughs> you were thinking about if you wanted to mess with me, huh? Ah, good. Better get moving. <sighs> Run away. I don't know if I want to take him out with the pistol, though. I don't know if I could, to be honest. Oh god. Where is he? <gasps> He's right there. And there's zombies! Of course there is. Oh god. Use. Oh god. Can I get out there? 
before the zombie comes back in. Is he gonna grab me? <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> I knew it! Dude, I can't spend time with you right now. No, the liquor is gonna come after me. Fuck off. I'm just gonna have to slowly walk. Fuck! This is not gonna end well. No, get off of me! <laughs> Shit. We need to use some health. This isn't gonna end well because the liquor. Is there another liquor? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> this may be where we die, folks. Ugh, not doing so good. Run away! <laughs> I think I'm gonna go this way, because he can't climb out that way. Ah, fuck! <laughs> oh god. Run. Don't run, but run. Okay, go. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> See, and I feel like when I played as Claire, like, he stayed down for longer, too. Like, he wasn't down for very long, like, literally at all. Um... Uh, we'll just use first aid spray, because that does full healing. Yeah. Maybe I should grab one just in case. Ugh. Okay, sucks. I hate the tyrant with such a passion. This is exactly why I wasn't looking forward to playing as Leon. I mean, I don't hear him right now. Unless he's like in here waiting for me. He's not in this room. <laughs> I would hear him like stomping around. Go, go, you could do it. Don't stop and think about it. No! Go, go! We're gonna get hit! Let go! No! Run away! You can't catch me in the gingerbread man. Ha, uh, you have to walk around. Knew it. Fuck you. Just get. I'm not hitting him at all. I don't have time for you. No. Why are you here? Go away. <laughs> God. I hate this little corner. Literally everyone and their mom wants a piece of you. Oh god, he doesn't come in here, does he? I know in Claire's he doesn't. This is like a safe area since it's a puzzle, but... I don't know, I feel like that doesn't matter. Leon has it so much harder. They're like, oh, it's okay. He's a cop. He can handle it. Not like a whole police station was taken over, but that's none of my business. My poor dogs, they're trying to sleep. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. Okay. Got that.
Okay, so now we have to go back to the first floor. I knew it! You were just lying in wait. Screw you. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Ah, ah! Oh god! I thought he was coming in here! I taunted him enough. God. No, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You can walk away. Oh my god, just go! I'm waiting for him to go like a little bit further that way and then I could just bail to the left. Just stay. Will you eventually just walk away? No, he went that way. I did the puzzle already. I, I got the electronic part. Did he go? I think I can get through this way. So I think we're gonna try for that. At least you could in Claire's. Okay, yeah. I killed his zombies in here, right? How dare you! Uh, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, I haven't gone downstairs yet. Does he follow you downstairs? Or did he just kind of give up? Is there a liquor downstairs again? I don't know. That guy. Oh no, he is following me! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and there's a zombie. Please don't be a liquor. Oh, okay. So in this, it looks like the liquor already bailed. But now <laughs> I have him literally on the other side. Can I get out this way? Or no, I need the key. Oh, there's handgun ammo. He can't come in here, can he? Can he? Alvarez? I hear him. You. Okay, well first we need to take out this zombie. Because if I try to run past him, he's just gonna grab me. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, but I'm kind of stuck in this corridor for a second. I need to go back to the garage. But I'm trying to take this guy out. but I need him to walk away a little bit so that I can run past him. Oh, am I? See, I don't see halfway done until like when you're in the sewers. I feel like we're not there yet. Whatever, we're just gonna have to try to run and hope we manage to get past him. <laughs> that didn't work out. Can you like... What? <laughs> Get away from me. 
Ah! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. This way. First floor. How's our health doing? Okay, we're still good. Run away! <laughs> Did he give up? I feel like I said that last time and he most certainly did not. Nope, he's still coming. Run. Oh my God, no. You, get off of me. No, no. No one wants you! You're ugly. Get off of me. Okay, and then I need to... <laughs> I should have known that was gonna happen, but I didn't. Okay, let's see. We need to deposit this. We need our red gem. Our red jewel, sorry. The star's badge, which I could have used while I was in there, but whatever, that didn't happen. We'll just store it for right now. We need our other thingy. Oh, there it is. I don't know, I blacked out. And let's save. Leon. We finally got the electronic part. That took forever. Whatever.
He did the other one for Claire so quickly. And this one I'm like, nope. We're just gonna go ahead and cheat real quick since I just saved. I did just save, right? Oh god, I hope so. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So we did just save. Thank goodness. Yeah, I know. I think I just like really messed it up. So we're just gonna start over from it. We're cheating. But I don't want you guys to sit there and like literally watch me do it for like an hour. I can't imagine that being exciting to watch. Wait, this guy's tutorial is going too fast. <laughs> we messed up somewhere. <laughs> I don't think he knows what he's doing. What? <laughs> okay, this person doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't helpful. But on that note, I think it would be a good time to go ahead and end the stream since we have been on for a couple hours. And I don't want you guys to have to face me doing that again until I know for sure how to do it. But thank you guys so much for joining me for my lingerie stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's the whole assets again <laughs> in case you missed it. And as always, thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. You're the reason that I'm able to keep doing this. It motivates me to keep modeling and streaming stuff that's awesome and fun. And like this just came out and I'm thankful that I was able to start streaming it literally like the day of. So I'm just really grateful. It does show that you guys enjoy my work and 
my effort that I put into it. I definitely do appreciate it. And thank you everyone for who came out and were able to come and chat with me and hang out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm hoping to do some more lingerie streams in the future. So if you haven't already, please follow or subscribe, whichever it is on Twitch or YouTube. So I hope you guys had fun. Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.